we're going to first take a look at the characters command. And what this will do, it's designed to count the number of characters in a var car field. As you can see here, we're going to select the first name, then count the characters in the first name. We also have the characters command again in the where clause, getting only the first names where they're less than seven characters. And as you can see our results, Billy, it's got five characters, where Cletus has six characters. This command will count the characters in a var car field. Here I have spelled my name, Tom, with spaces in between. T space zero space M. And then I said select Tom as first name and then count the characters of Tom with those spaces in between. It was five. It will count the spaces in between. Now we're going to count the characters in a character field, a car 20. Take a look at this. We say select last name and we count the characters of last name. And as you can see, Chambers, Coffin, Harris, and Jones, but they all have characters of 20. That's because this is a character field. Would you know how to fix this? I know you would. We just saw that counting the characters for a character field is going to bring back 20 if it's 20 characters long. As you can see here, here's why. Jones is a car 20 field and it's got 15 spaces behind it. You see, character data always pads the spaces to make sure that everything is the same length long. But like dad used to tell you, get a haircut and we're going to see that next. Here's a nice opportunity to see the trim in action with the characters command. You could see a lot more variables than just the three you're going to see here. So let me show you how this works now. Take a look at this. We're going to select the last name. It's a car 20 field. Then we're going to do the characters after we trim the last name. So work yourself from the inside out. First they say, what are we going to be doing when you go working with last name, what do you want to do first? We want to trim the spaces off both the beginning and the end of last name. And then after that, pass it left to the characters command. And as you can see here, Chambers now has eight characters. Coughing has seven. Harrison has eight. That's the way it's going to work. The characters command worked just fine. We now understand it. But I want you to notice here I've given you both the characters command and the character underscore length command. They work exactly the same except one is ANSI. Do you know which one's ANSI? It's, the lo it's always the longer one. Character length is ANSI and that's the better one to use because it's going to work on every database. You could actually see the counting of characters in a var car field three different ways. Characters is the top example. Character underscore length is the next one. And then the last one, octet underscore length. They all have the same performance. They all do the exact same thing. They are equivalent, except the last two, character length and octet length, those are ANSI. Use those if you can. This lesson brought to you by Coughing Data Warehousing. If you have questions, we have answers. Check out CoughingDW.com for some great offers on our training books. Unleash the genius within. Hi, this is Tom Coughing. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please hit subscribe to make sure you are kept up to date on all our videos.